which yeah. surprised me. But Shannon, <laughs> now on a scale of one to ten, how confident are you in the Saints? A five. Because I don't like the way they played. I don't like the way they ended the season. Um, since that game against the uh, um, the Cowboys, skill, yep. Drew Brees has five touchdown passes. Mm. That's not nearly good enough. He also uh, has four interceptions. Was, exactly. Mm -hmm. So I, I and I and I saw him miss some, miss some throws early. Yeah. Uh, that should have been a touchdown on the very first play of the game or the second play of the game mm -hmm. to Ted Ginn Jr. And he underthrew it, which is very unlike Drew, considering it is. he broke his record yep. at completing seventy four over seventy four percent of his passes. Yeah. Um, so that's one of the reasons why I'm not as, mm -hmm. if you asked me six weeks ago, yep. oh, oh man, I'm, I'm at a nine, I'm 10, I'm mm -hmm. 10. I made this pick then. Oh, I'm, I'm, but yep. some, <laughs> this is not the same team. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't think they played particularly well. I think what happened on Sunday, Skip, I think the Eagles, that was more Eagles than it was Saints. That was more Eagles bad football over the last three quarters than it was good football by the Saints. Um, but with that being said, I still believe that Drew Brees, will, there are some opportunities in the Rams' secondary. Mm -hmm. They blow to Marcus Peters. Now, he said he wanted this. Mm -hmm. He said, tell Sean Payton to keep talking that ish, yep. and we're going to see him again. Mm -hmm. And when it's, you know, we'll have us a nice good old go bowl of gumbo, yep. and we're going to talk about it. Yep. Well, you got it. Mm -hmm. You're going to get an opportunity to see Michael Thomas. Mm -hmm. You know what he did last time? Went for two bills, put two bills on you. He did. I believe that Drew will take advantage of, of the secondary because I, I, given that they have a, a defensive rookie of the year, they have two Pro Bowl players, I think three Pro Bowl players, in this secondary, I still believe that's the weak unit because the de defensive line is going to be re relentless. Aaron Donald has been the best defensive player all year. Mm. I believe he shows up in a big way. But the question is, can they hold up long enough to give Aaron Donald and Sue mm -hmm. and follow some of those guys an opportunity to get to Drew Brees? I don't think it'll be 45-35. I got it a close game, Skip. Mm. I got it 31-30. Hmm. Saints win. 31-30. This is so weird because I'm actually with you, even though we're both with the Saints. <laughs> I'm not going to be at all surprised if the Rams win no, this game. No, absolutely not. But I'm not going to pick the Rams because I picked the Saints before the year started. I'm not going to flip. I'm not going to give up now. They're one step away. Right. They're at home. These two guys, Drew Brees, Sean Payton, together are now 6-0 and at home in that dome. Mm -hmm. It's hard to win there. It is. But the Rams do know what it feels like to come close there. Right. And so that was a big deal to me that on November 4th, they fought all the way back from 35-17 at halftime to 35-all. And then Marcus Peters happened, or I should say Michael Thomas happened, <laughs> 72 yards worth. Yes. But help me out. Was there an Aqib Tlaib on the football field that no. day? There was not. Is Aqib Tlaib a better cover, pure cover corner, a press corner, just a pure oh, man yeah, yeah, corner? Yeah. Yes. He's way better. He scares me. Every time I pick against him, which I did last Saturday night, he just scares me because every time he's on the field with somebody, good things usually happen. <laughs> the Patriots, with the Broncos. Yep. Rams, yep, right? Yep. He's a winning football player. Yep. I don't always like him because yeah. he's he's just nasty. Out there. <laughs> he but is. that's why he's good. So is is he going to take Michael Thomas? I'm I sure don't he'll have travel. Help, I, I, don't, I don't. And I don't believe he'll travel. Skip. That's not how Wade normally plays his defense. I mean, for the most part, when he was in Denver, he had two very good corners. He had Talibi at Chris Harris Jr. Did he? And they never travel. But you had confidence in those guys. I believe he'll leave them. I believe because Marcus Peters plays better, he's just going to let Peters play his style of football, which is off coverage, and just read and react. But he needs to stop guessing and, mm -hmm. and, and jump and skip. He let guys just He's the opposite of Tlaib. Yes. He's just the complete yeah. opposite. Yes. So, listen, Michael Thomas is the key to this football game because he's the key to their offense. Correct. We're going to talk about this later. Did you take Michael Thomas or Tyreek? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're going to go back and forth about that one. Definitely. But Michael Thomas is quietly, unbelievably good. He is. Because you just can't cover him. And I assume... A lot of people try to double him. Some teams probably try to triple him, and he just keeps getting open and catching passes. Right. Yeah. So, again, Wade Phillips has got to say, well, if we can at least keep him to a low roar and keep that stadium to a low roar, we, we got a real shot. Right. So I think they got a way better shot with Tlaib. Okay. So I'm still going to go high scoring here. It was 45 to 35 on November the 4th. Mm -hmm. And... I'm still going to give the Rams their 35 because I, I think they're fully capable of getting there. 
but I'm going to go 38 to 35 Saints. And the only reason I'm picking the Saints is because I picked them before the season started. <laughs> Period. End of story. Well, we saw we saw last time, Skip, uh, it, last week, we saw the Saints and the Eagles and 48-7. And that game was not even close. They didn't, get, they didn't even get the 48 points between the two of them, let alone one team score 48. I just think the, the, the corrections that a team made, I've always felt, and I've said this on numerous occasions, Skip, I believe the second time around, the team that lost that ball game has an advantage because I get an opportunity. Not only does the coach have your attention, he has your undivided mm -hmm. attention. You see, son, that got us beat. Yep. You get to make all the corrections. When you score as many points as the Saints did, they're going up and down the field. They're not punting the football. What is, what is a, a, a Sean Payton going to correct? Mm. Yet, I'll be the first to admit publicly, I am still shook up over what happened to my Cowboys last Saturday night. Because the harder I think about it, the worse it gets. Because I cannot explain it. But the last thing I saw, well, you're just a hater. But, but I'm not a hater. I'm, I'm actually an objective fan. I'm, I'm an objective fan. <laughs> and the last thing I ever saw coming was 170 rush yards yeah. in the first half. In the first half, 273 for the game against a Cowboy defense that had one glitch at Indy where they gave up 178, but that so was- You know you were capable of it. Okay, I got it, but this was a playoff game and I just didn't see that coming and I can't wrap my mind around. I, like I wake up in the middle of the night thinking, how did that happen? Did they wear the wrong cleats on a rain slick field? Maybe. Was it because Jared Goff had thrown a grand total of 5% of his, I'm sorry, they, they had run a grand total of 5% of the time out of the shotgun. They just don't run out of the shotgun. No. And they were running wild out of the shotgun on Saturday Excuse night. Me. Was that just a, was that a genius move by Sean McVay? Mm -hmm. I, I, maybe. Did my team just not, was, was it fixated on trying to stop the, the Jared Goff deep ball, which seems like that's the killer when you play the Rams? Maybe they were that. Or back to CJ, is he just the difference maker mm -hmm. signed on December 16th? <laughs> is he just the reason the Rams yeah. are Super Bowl bound? <laughs> because I, the, the stats don't lie. In fact, they scream, look out for CJ. Yep. As I keep calling him CJ Dickerson after <laughs> Eric Dickerson. <laughs> because he steps in off his couch. He'd been cut by the Raiders after being cut by Carolina, right. after being cut by Denver. Correct. So he comes in off his couch against, this is at Arizona. I know they're not very good, but he goes 20 times for 167 yards. Todd Gurley has a little knee issue right. going on. Then against San Francisco at home, he goes 23 times for 132 yards. And then you know what happened against Dallas, 23 carries for 123 more yards. And two more twos. Yeah, and he's the hottest back in pro football. And you have another guy who looks like he's about to be 100% healthy named Todd Gurley. Who a lot of people think, is already the best back in Woo! football. A lot of people. You okay. Choose. Okay. So how do you how do you defense that? Well, I'm going to say this again. The only edge I can give New Orleans is if you look at their last nine games, and this has happened very quietly, and I brought it up all week on the show. They are second in points allowed in the NFL over their last nine games. That defense is mm -hmm. Chicago was first. Uh, but but listen, they were just right there. It's just over 16 points a game. So that's really good. So Very while good. Drew Brees was starting, you, you know, I'm surprised you've been all over Brady about he's showing his age. Well, was Drew showing his age over the last nine games? Because well, it sure looked like it. A lot of some of those balls, especially on Sunday, Skip, had a little wobble to them. Okay. He was a little short. All right. But but then that's but think about it, Skip. You say they're um, number two in scoring yeah. over the last nine games. Think about it. They gave up 13 to the Cowboys. They gave up nine. To At Carolina. Carolina. Okay. So they were holding people down. They, they beat were. the breaks off Cincinnati. So they were go they were still some in some of those games, they were getting their points, but they were holding teams to well below what they normally get. And guess who was number one in takeaways over the last nine games of the season? The New Orleans Saints. So if you put that hot defense on that field in that dome with that crowd going. Oh, you turn the ball over. You, you turn the ball over in that building, you going home. Okay. So can they force a couple? They're capable. And they're probably going to need to force a couple, right? But what when you talk about, Skip, the Rams, what we th said get, got them in trouble. They went away from Todd Gurley. They go to Chicago. He get 11, 12 carries. Okay. They played, the, uh, they played the, uh, the Chiefs. Even though they won that game, he gets another 11, 12 carries. Mm -hmm. I think Sean McVay went back and did some self-evaluating, some self-scouting mm -hmm. of himself. Yeah. Hold on. We got Todd Gurley back here. Look how we were dominating early when Todd was getting, when we were running the ball 25, 
35 times a game yeah. and then sprinkling in another 30 pass attempts. Mm -hmm. They got into trouble when they started getting to 40, yeah. 45, almost 50 pass attempts, and Todd Gurley running attempts were decreased. Mm -hmm. I think you're going to see a heavy load. I wouldn't be surprised if you see another 35. Now, I don't know if they can get – I'm sure he would love to have another 47 carries. Okay. But I'd be very, very surprised if they're not over, way over 30 rush attempts. Well, at least I don't have to worry about the Saints wearing the right cleats because I'm pretty sure the field will be dry. Is that <laughs> fair to say? That's the one thing I know for sure. You believe that, Skip? Who believe what? That they had on the wrong cleats. Yes, I do. But I don't. I do. It's like when the bartender tell you, when the, when the bouncer tell you, Skip, yeah. you go to a club, and the bartender, you drunk, and he say, get up out of here, you geek. <laughs> Just leave. The Rams told us, they look here, man. Y'all need to get on up out of here, and they wouldn't leave, so they had to pick them up. You know how they pick them up? Mm -hmm. Throw them out. You took the old Western. That example. I you remember the old Western skill? Sure I get it. You remember <laughs> Bonanza? <laughs> you watched Bonanza, right? No, that's the, way before. Nah, you time. did watch it. You're older than what I am. What about Gunsmoke? Can't help it. The guy come in there, they get all drunk, and the guy, the bartender, and, and the bouncer are like, get out of here. Yeah. It's time to go. Yep. I know. Just Gunsmoke. like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. old, yeah. old fast. Is how Somehow I don't believe either of you guys have been in that situation. Next up. By the way, real quick. Robert Woods gave me one break because okay. Robert Woods of the Los Angeles Rams said that the crowd in that dome will have no impact. Oh. Uh, good luck with that because I think it will, so I'm sticking with my Saints. You know what? If I'm the Ram, if I'm the Ram, you know what I do? If I was yep. Sean McVay, yep. I have all my players mm -hmm. that come out of that thing, and before the kickoff, we're going to open up some umbrellas to let you know we here. Now, that's just a straight insult. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to do what y'all normally do. We're yeah. going to have us a good time. I think that huh. would be a really bad idea. No, I, I would. hope they do that. Well, I'd do it. Yeah, because yeah, okay. you just want to win. Just I think straight. you're rooting for the Rams, actually. I they mean, beat I'm, the Cowboys, and you want the team to beat the Cowboys yeah. to get to I mean, I do. I mean, yeah, I got I you. I don't 